This season on Farm and Fortune, it's going to be bigger. Now we just have bodies, you know, take care of these things, not necessarily waiting for somebody at the top. Boulder. I'm exporting ginger to Canada now, fresh ginger. Two point so, us now. Canada. Um, yes. Enlightening and funnier than ever before. Money is everywhere, not only Shako. Your favorite variety show is finally back with all the knowledge you've been missing with more experts in the field than ever before. So let's bring on the giggles. Question number 10. The games. Don't forget the grand prize of 500,000 Naira worth of farm imputes. Oops. And that's the miss. And facts to shake things up. Nigeria is the first in Africa in ginger production. If we don't have fertilizer, we forget about farming ginger. Farmers are not getting a lot of reward for their efforts. And it's now the middleman that controls the price. Who will take home the grand prize? And who will go home defeated? Have a clear winner. Welcome to a brand new season of Farm and Fortune. <laughs> Everybody change, a farm and fortune change. Everybody change, a farm and fortune change. Ginger, 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 ginger. Wow! Yes, we are back. Yes, it's an all new season of Farm and Fortune. Welcome to Farm and Fortune season two. So, Helen, what's up with you? Well. I've been trying to do a lot of gardening, but gardening has not been easy, I must confess. Mm. Uh, but I'm not stopping, you know, because I know that there are lots of opportunities in agricultural business, and I'm investing in it. Sia, uh -huh. talking about opportunities, today, guess what we're discussing? Mm. We're going to ginger your swagger. We're talk talking about ginger today. And, uh, you know, we have our experts coming in to tell us about ginger and all the opportunities there. And paraventure, there are one or two things that our farmers might be missing. You don't want to miss that. You're going to enjoy yourself with us. But before then, quickly go and grab a cup of ginger tea. My name is Ellen Paul. And I'm Frank Donga. And this is Fam and Fortune, Fortune season, season two. two. Be right back. Welcome back. It's still Fam and Fortune. Our guest today is a researcher with the National Root Crops Research Institute. With over 20 years of experience in Nigerians' ginger markets. Ginger. The man is a ginger man. No other person than Mr. Kaya Shaibo. You're welcome, sir. It is my pleasure to be here. It's so good to see you, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Uh, so, Mr. Kaya, you know, you, you know, you brought a lot of ginger. So you give us some of that ginger. Yes. Nigeria has ginger, have we? Yes, sure. So, where exactly? Where are the states that produce this ginger for Nigeria, giving us the ginger? Well, uh, ginger is produced in the northern part of Nigeria. More especially, uh, we have Kaduna, we have Bauchi, we have Gombe, we have Nasarawa and Benue. And out of this uh, state, uh, Kaduna produced the highest uh, ginger in Nigeria. And... Uh, uh, let me just say the one of the most important things in ginger production. And Nigeria is the first in Africa in ginger production. And yes. taught the highest in the world oh, for world. export. Yes, for export. <gasps> yes. And uh, ginger is contributing up to 23% GDP of Nigerian GDP. Wow. And uh, Kaduna, precisely, is where put, uh, ginger is being produced in a large quantity. If I can quickly just ask, I know Helen has another question mm -hmm. for you, but is it the same type of ginger we are growing in Nigeria, or there are different varieties or types ginger. of ginger? We have two major varieties of ginger in Nigeria. We have uh, UG1 and UG2. And in the north, they call it uh, Tafingiwa and uh, Yasumbri. That's uh, and Yasumbri. Yasumbri. Yes. So these are the two major varieties. But uh, we have in the whole world, there are up to 25 varieties of ginger. Of ginger? Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Please tell us, regions like Gombe, uh, Benue, Nasarawa used to be so strong and popular for ginger. But what is happening to them right now? Because we keep hearing Kaduna, Kaduna. Yeah. 
Uh, one of the major reasons that uh, those states were no longer producing ginger in a large quantity is because of their soil is depleted, one. Uh, then also uh, there is low yield, and there's also issue of uh, inputs, uh, as well as uh, input like fertilizer, chemicals, you know, and as a peasant farmer, and at times they don't have uh, access to a small loan where the government will support them because the farmers over there, they are also lamenting that the government is not really supporting them in their ginger production. So that's one of the reasons why the production has gone down in those uh, states. Right now, even the regions of the country that are producing ginger, mm -hmm. are they producing in their maximum capacity? Capacity. Yeah, not quite, because uh, they have some challenges. Mm -hmm. They are not producing it in a large quantities because they have challenges. And some of the challenges has to do with, uh, they were not using the right fertilizer, like I mentioned earlier. And also uh, there's diseases, pests and diseases. Destroying the Destroying farm. the farms, which will result them to have lower yield. And uh, most, of, most also they have a, an issue of uh, storage facilities and processing ability. Because the question is that if you are into ginger production, you have to also try as much as possible to add value to it mm. so that it will go for export. Thank you very much, sir. We're about, I'm getting much information, but I'm really hoping that other regions will tap into, you know, the ginger plantation, just like Kaduna yes. is doing. All right, my people, Bala is a ginger farmer in Nasarawa trying to bridge the gap. Let's see how he's doing. We'll be back soon. Uh, my name is Bala Musa Sanda. I'm from Kaduna State. And I've been farming ginger for the past 11 years. Even though uh, from childhood, I would say I inherited it from my dad. And when I grew up, then on my own, for the past 11 years, I've been farming ginger. I came to Nasara actually on assignment. But coming to Nasara, I discovered that I carry out a research and I discovered that they have not been farming ginger. So, and I involved myself in it, and that's how I've been farming in Nasara State. Uh, this is just the small portion that I, when I came, I said, let me just test it and see, up to 10 uh, sticks. So, as I, this is how I, when I planted it, and I discovered that it yields very well. The seed I've gotten, like now, when I harvest it, I have to, at least the ones I can slide and sell, then I will reserve and then I'll, the one I will store for the next season is store it. Despite his success, Bala battles with more than he should. He understands ginger farming, but if he can't find the items required to grow ginger right, what can he do? Farming ginger <coughs> in Nasarawa land is not, is not actually too easy because of the soil. For instance, you know, in Kaduna State, we have grasses when you come to, in, uh, it, uh, when you plant it, there's this called you moat it, you moat it. But here, there's no grasses. How do you? And once you do not moat it, it's a problem. The sun will affect it. And if you don't have fertilizer, you forget about farming ginger. So it demands fertilizer. And here has been a challenge in the sense that to get fertilizer here in a soft way is always hard, except to go an extra mile. If I'm to be in Kaduna, uh, the challenges so far I have uh, mentioned. Actually, one cannot pass through those challenges as such. And uh, but then, as he believe that if there are other ways of improvement that make things available, at least that even here, those challenges can be amended and be solidified. But then, if we to be Kaduna, it's like Kaduna is blessed with all those facilities 
for ginger. Like any other place. Harvest season is almost here and Bala's ginger will be ready to sell. Does Bala have to return to Kaduna for his farm business to thrive? Or is there a way to make it work? Wow, Helen, hmm. Bala is sure going through a lot of... You have cracked it up. That's why they say it's not good to work alone. It's not easy. Hmm. He's doing a fantastic job. I think Bala should open an association of ginger farmers, you know, in Nasarawa and make it Nasarawa chapter. Yes, so. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> He's doing a great job. Uh, but please tell us, you know, Mr. Kaya, why is it so hard for Bala, you know, to do ginger properly in Nasarawa states? Why is it so hard? Well, according to uh, some of the few challenges that he has mentioned, mm -hmm. he made mention about uh, mulching materials. Mulching. Mulching materials and also uh, insufficient uh, input like fertilizer. Where he made mention that had it been he was in Kaduna, he would have Don't gotten a lot of uh, mulching materials. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by mulching materials? Mulching material is when you plant ginger. You cover it with the soil. Then you need to collect grass and sprinkle on top. On top, okay. So once you sprinkle grass on it, the, the, the grass conserves moisture and also it enhances germination. That's one of the challenges. So as long as you didn't mulch your ginger after planting, definitely the, the rate of germination would be very low. Reduced. That's one. Two. I don't think Bala has subjected his soil for testing, okay. right? Before he start talking about the fertilizer to use. Because we encourage farmers to test their soil. Once they test their soil, a recommendation will be given to them by the expertise. Because most of the soil are depleted with nutrients, mm. right? Then the issue of uh, fertilizer also comes to play. Because, like Helen rightly said, if Bala is to form an association, association. of ginger farmers in Nasara State, mm -hmm. Bala should go into what we call good agronomic practices. At what stage after planting do I need to apply my fertilizer? Fertilizer, okay. Then fertilizer is being applied twice, okay. right? Okay. 20 days after planting, fertilizer is being applied. Then the second application comes after 40 days after the first application. Then at what time does Bala wheat his field Thin. to be free of wheat, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if the ginger farm has so much wheat, it also reducing the yield. There's going to be a competition between yes. the ginger and wheat, right? So Bala needs to... Uh, form a cooperative society, right, for access of loan to need his soil to be tested and select good seeds for So without, without the association, it can't get the loan? It's a little bit difficult. difficult. Oh. It's a little bit difficult. I'm happy that you mentioned uh, the fertilizer and the soil test, you know, yes. and all that. Tell us, what soil type is best for, fat, for ginger farming and what type of fertilizer? Okay. Uh, in ginger farming, uh, a soil that is suitable for ginger farming is loose soil and loamy soil. Lo take that again. Loose, loose mm. soil loose and loamy soil. Loamy soil. Because the loamy soil allow water to drain. Great. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because if you have a soil that is waterlocked, ginger will not strive well. So that's the best type of soil for ginger to be uh, cultivated. And those type of soil can be found virtually every part of the country. Mm. Mm. Yes. You need about 100 bags of ginger seeds okay. to be planted in one hectare. On, in one, on one hectare. Big hectare, one hectare. One hectare. Just 100 bags. 100 bags okay. of 50 kg. Okay. Assuming a farmer spends... 800,000 in his production, Yes, right? When he harvests the ginger, I made mention that he's 
putting how many? 100 bags. 100 bags. He's going to harvest up to 500 bags. 100 Wait, 100 to 500. 500 It's very far. Harvest. Then, if he spent 800,000, mm. right? Yes. In his production. Yes. And if one bag is going to cost at the minimum 14,000 naira, right? So when you multiply 14,000 naira by 400 yeah. bucks, hmm. it's 5.6 million. That's so it. 800,000, you can make 5.6 5. 5. 5. million. million. So even if, if ants or anything even chop it, you will still make 5.6. That's it. So how, how will people know which how one to is very good? good ginger? Where can they go and get? Now, if a farmer harvests his ginger, the first and um, well, the foremost what he has to do is that he needs to select his seed. Se carefully select your seed. S select your seed. Mm. And when he's selecting a seed, a ginger seed can be identified by a shiny, shiny, clean, clean, disease-free, disease-free seed. Seeds. And also uh, for foreign exchange any. Mm. Great. So he mm. said we, we want ginger farmers to go into ginger production, not for any other thing, but rather for business. <laughs> you need to increase your ginger. As you're drinking your ginger, you're planting your ginger, That's and making right. money from your ginger. ginger. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We have loads of fun still for you. Right now, we're going to be going to our DIY segment. But before then, don't forget, you can also learn so much more on our Udongo app. That app that makes you self Teach yourself on all these things we're talking about. That's so right. Go to the App Store. Go to the Google Play Store. Download the Udongo app. You can keep learning and keep making money and keep drinking your ginger. And don't forget to follow us on every social media platform. Instagram, Facebook, at Fam and Fortune. Stay with us. We'll be right back. When you choose to play on the fields of the ancient agrarian marketplace, consider a good coach to take along with you. The Udongo app is your gateway to the Nigerian agricultural ecosystem. Whether you are a newbie or an oldie, signing up instantly connects you with a community of other farmers, products, agents, distributors and resources all in one place. Access our unique and simple interface from the bustling big cities to the most remote regions across Nigeria. Enjoy full access to real-time farming solutions that help you make timely and profitable decisions. Or allow our one-on-one -on -one consultancy services cheer you on with each move you make. As a newbie or oldie looking to make a big agricultural food sprint, feel secure knowing you have the best coach always in your pocket. Udongo app is your personalized farming coach, available to you every time, anywhere, just at the click of a button. Download the Udongo app from the Google Play Store now and enjoy new opportunities. Welcome to the Farm and Fortune DIY hack. Today, I'll be showing you how to test your home garden soil without a test kit. How to test your soil's pH level at home. Pour some soil into a bowl. Add half a cup of vinegar to the soil. If soil fizzles, it's alkaline. Pour some soil into a bowl. Moisten with a little water. Add half a cup of baking soda. If soil fizzles, it's acidic. And there you have it. You're watching the DIY hack on Fam and Fortune. Keep watching. Welcome back, it's still Fam and Fortune. We have a soil expert in the building today, in person of Miss Eberry. How are you, madam? Fine, thank you. Yes. Please, I want you to tell us that full name. I like the way you pronounce it. My name is Ebere Chuku. <laughs> Camera rolling, action. <laughs> My name is Ugadi Ebere Chuku Mirian. I'm a soil scientist from Nigeria Institute of Soil Science. Now, let's look at Akwanga area in Nasarawa State. The secret of the soil. How is it to grow ginger? Okay. This is a Nasarawa State, particularly in Akwanga area, and in soil analysis. So from what we can see, mm -hmm. let's focus more on the MPK. MPK. Because that is the, micro, the most important macronutrient for ginger production. So looking from the screen, you can see that nitrogen is mm -hmm. low. Yes. Then you can see that available phosphorus is also low. 
Yes. And then you can see that potassium is also low. The potassium, yes, is As low. well as other micronutrients. But if you want to multiply, like multiple your, your production, there are fertil proper fertilizer recommendations. That can be used. That can be used. For you to increase your ginger yield from okay. 18 tons to over 30 tons, you have to apply these fertilizer recommendations. And the most, the most important macronutrient is MPK 1515. Okay. From the screen, you can see that eight bags of this MPK is recommended for ginger production, and it should be applied after planting. Then, four weeks after planting, you should apply your urea, okay. two bags of urea, at the rate of 100 kilograms per hectare. Okay. Then, after eight weeks of planting, you should apply the same two bags of urea. After add, eight weeks? After eight weeks of planting. Okay. You should apply the same, you, this uh, fertilizer urea, yes. at the rate of 100 kilograms per hectare. Okay. And then, the last but not the least of the macronutrients is murals of potash. This should be applied 12 weeks after planting. This one is mure. Murate of potash. Of potash. It should be applied 12 weeks after planting at the rate of 200 kilograms per hectare. That's four bags. That's four bags of murate of potash. This murate of potash helps in the rhizome development. So if one can be able to use this fertilizer recommendation, the farmer can perform opt optimally in ginger production, in and then you will have your money. Hey, very good. Then we'll look at the stage, the weather too, Abi. Okay. <laughs> this secret of the soil analysis now is particular to Akwanga in Nasarawa State. And I know by this, of course, you will be on the point, the right point, you will get it wrong. Thank you so much, Ms. Eberi, for you know, putting us through and teaching us this. And I'm very sure that you are going into that business right now, if you're in Akwanga, doing it the same way we have just gotten the analysis. Thank you. Welcome back. It's game time on Farm and Fortune. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You know how we do it here? We play the game and we win the big prize. Guess what? On this particular season two that we are on for Farm and Fortune, the grand prize is 500,000 Naira worth of farm impute. And it's very easy. The game is going to go this way. We're going to have three knockout stages where 16 people are going to compete, go head to head. And at the end of everything, only one person is going to emerge the winner. But we're going to have three knockout stages where people are going to compete together in this game of two truths and a lie. I'm going to tell our contestants three things. One of them is a lie. The other two are true. All they have to do is tell me which one is the lie. And to play the game with us on this episode of Farm and Fortune, season two, I have two wonderful gentlemen who are farmers. On my immediate left, I have Mr. Uwegu Orwell. You're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. But on my immediate right, I have a gentleman farmer here. His name is Mr. Oluwai Bemiga Joseph. You're welcome, sir. And I believe you have been farming for about 10 years. Oh, yes, sir. 10 years. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Over 10 years. Interesting. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Time to test your knowledge of farming. Let's go. Mr. Orwell, A, ginger is ready for harvest after three months. B, ginger should be planted 25 centimeters apart. C, fertilizer should be applied 20 days after planting ginger. Out of those three sentences, which of them is a lie? C. You rush me, you see? C. Going? That's your final answer? Gone. Gone? Yeah. And it is a no. Out of those three sentences, the lie was the first one. A. Ginger is ready for harvest after three months. It's a lie. Ginger cannot, it's not me. Ginger doesn't mature in three months like that. Next question, Mr. Oluwa Ebika Joseph. When ginger is ready for harvest, the leaves turn yellow and the stem turns dry. B. A ginger farm can do well in dry season without irrigation. And C. For best yields, 
Mulching is required for large ginger farms. Which of those three things is a lie? B. Say? B. That's your final answer? Yes. Well, I tried my best. That response is correct. A ginger farm can do well in dry season without education. It's a lie. My question is, which of these three sentences is a lie? It was right. So, in this first round, Mr. Joseph takes the point. Nigeria's ginger is well received in other parts of the world. A or B. For best results, ginger should be planted in the middle of the rich, not on the side of the rich. And C. You don't need to cut ginger before you plant it. You can plant it as a whole. Which of those three things is a lie? B. It's not a lie. Jerome, from what I have here, you don't need to cut ginger before you plant it. You can plant it as a whole if you like. Maybe not. Question A. Ginger is both a rhizome and a root. B. Ginger is a rhizome, not a root. And C. Ginger grows under the ground. Which of those three things is a lie? B. Mr. Joseph, I must admit that you, sir, were very wrong. The correct answer that I have in front of me is A. Ginger is both a rhizome and a root. That is a lie. So, congratulations, sir. You have won you. this round. But don't worry, I'm sure we have lots of consolation prizes for uh, anybody who doesn't win. No, cut yourself our uh, sponsors. So, everybody goes home, the winner. Don't forget the grand prize of 500,000 Naira worth of farm impute is still up for grabs. Don't feel bad if you were not on the show and you couldn't win anything. You can still join us and win other prizes right from the comfort of your homes. All you have to do is join us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, at our handle, at Farm and Fortune. Play the game, win your prizes, share with your friends, and keep farming and keep winning. All right, thank you. So the next round, you're going to join us and other people are also going to compete until we finally get to the grand finale of who's going to win the 500,000 Naira grand prize. It's not over yet. We'll see you shortly. Stay with us. Oh, what a show. I've learned so much to do. Me too, I must confess. Mm. Join us next week for another exciting episode of Fam and Fortune. And of course, you will learn so much. My name is Helen Pong. And I'm Frank Donga. But the old ginger is not over here too. Because next week, you know, we're talking about so much more. But even this episode you have watched, in case you missed it or you want to share with your friends, you can watch the entire thing all over again. Mm -hmm. Just go to YouTube, go to Instagram. Facebook. Go to Facebook at Fam and, and Fortune. Fortune. On all social media platforms. Everywhere. And you know what? Hmm. Getting the money out of this business. <laughs> wait, wait, we can't close. We forgot. Hey! We said we we're going to tell you about how to make the raw money from ah. ginger. <laughs> where to sell it to. How to collect your money back. How your account will And grow. not just in one country. All Everything. over the country. Money is everywhere, not only Shako. Let's tell them. We will long this episode. Till no. next week. Let's, let's you will learn it next week. Next week. See you. It's still Fam and Fortune. Bye for now.